guys, today I'm gonna show you how to write pretty simple but really good with really nice vibe West Coast hip hop beat. My name is Andrew Zeleno, I'm professional audio engineer and teacher for really unique mixing course online. About my course I'm gonna tell you in the end of this video. On the left side of the screen you can read some comments of my former students and current students on my course. This course can be just totally game changing and you are welcome to attend one free trial class with current students, which can say much more than any phrases from me about my course. You definitely can check it out how great it is. My favorite uh, hip hop is old style, you know, it's old school hip hop, but I don't sample. You know, I believe everybody can write music. On our course we have music writing topic which can teach you within 2-3 classes how to write music. And then we concentrate on mixing, music production, sound design, mastering, recording. Music theory is a bit too complicated. My music theory, which I teach, so-called digital music theory, is much easier. Check it out. It's all about vibe, it's all about feel, it's not even about like how complicated your music is, how many notes you have. It's really really simple straightforward music. So fundamental tone of this mix is piano. Piano makes just these two chords. Really short notes over here, so two chords with the interval. Really nice reverb. This is even tight black hole reverb. Uh, today I'm not gonna talk about mixing. I'm gonna teach how to mix on the course. If you will be interested, check it out. But anyway, today it's all about music writing. If I turn this reverb off, piano sounds like too dry. You really don't get this proper vibe. Right? So it sounds like too simple. It's so nice, it's so pleasant to listen to. Then I use high notes of a piano, so basically I write these three notes. But to make it like not so simplistic, I put this like short note in the beginning. So I just use the most simple words, note from lower note to the higher note, that's it. I think it's enough for this type of video. Second phrase on the piano. And I use over here really out of scale note, only one semitone higher than fundamental note of this music. Music is written in C minor, I have C sharp. It gives you this kind of a strange, kind of misty tone. And then I just repeat a couple of chords. And that's it. So piano is really, really simple. So check it out, drums with the piano only. Next thing, what is really important in this track, obviously, in this genre especially, it's drums, right? For drums I use Battery 4 sampler, but uh, samples is not from Battery 4, it's separate library from Abershell company. Pretty nice kind of uh, samples like for R&B and hip hop, so pretty good. So I have just kick, but I make this kick shorter, as you can see. I just shorten the sample because I don't want this kind of low frequency lasting and less and creating all this muddiness. Then like pretty empty space for other instruments. So I make this kick short. And I play kick kick kick. So kick, kick kick kick. So it has this kind of classic movement from 90s. So kick kick snare, kick 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 snare, right? And hi-hat just on the offbeat position. Really simple drums. I just copy a fundamental note with the bass. So I just help piano to be just a bit like more powerful with the bass synthesizer. As long as I have super fat kick sound, I don't want bass to be really floppy and boomy. Instead I want bass to be tight and like sparkle. It has a lot of high harmonics. This one sounds pretty modern, so together they sound like this. So it's nothing specific, it's just like supporting instrument for the piano, that's it. Next, probably one of the most important stuff, mostly associated with West Coast, so-called like wine synthesizer. So it's whining, making this sort of... 
right? This sound came from funk music, so it's really, really interesting kind of tone. So I just create these overlaps to make the synthesizer just to glide from note to note kind of sliding from note to note. So the same I do on the second phrase over here. In this case I change, I change E flat to C sharp again to make this kind of mystic note. Right, so sounds pretty cool and then I repeat this mystic note again. Right, that's it. So together with piano it sounds like this. And also notice what I do over here, I create proper arrangement. I don't want to overlap instruments with each other because I want as much as possible clarity. Why I do it? Because piano has pretty high notes. So if my high piano will continue sounding, it will overlap with this high sounding wine and they just gonna create just like more frequency conflicts, it will be more, more difficult to mix later, that's it. So I think about mixing in advance when I write strings, uh, which create this kind of super ambient kind of background to this mix. In terms of what kind of instruments I have in this mix, let me show you. So, for piano I use Grounder from Native Instruments, really nice. This piano doesn't have too much damping like in some like upright pianos, so it sounds like a lot of this kind of sparkle upper mid-range. So it sounds really noticeable in the mix. Secondly, I use, uh, as a wine synthesizer, I use just really old synthesizer, which is not available anymore, called Hypersonic from Steinberg, and a preset called Gangsta Wine. <laughs> Absolutely no surprise in the title of the synthesizer. As a strings library, I use Native Instruments String Ensemble library. It's pretty up-to-date library made by Audiobro. Audiobro, they created one of most usable library called LASS library is basically like redesigned that classic library. As you can see, it's all about vibe. Really simplistic music phrases, but it should give you this vibe, this ambient stuff. And I use in mixing API, SSL and Neve channel strips with additional stuff. If you're really tired chasing after somebody's opinion, oh my god, Chris Rodelji, how many milliseconds on your compressor? You know, it's all bullshit. The real way how you learn audio engineering, you really need to understand every little bolt. Stanley Thomas says, I graduated from Berkeley. He says, I think your course is better. Check it out, actually, I offer a free trial class. One of the most unique things about this course is that he checks homeworks with the students you will find almost no online course that does that in a serious manner. You know, because it's risky, not a lot of people really ready to take this risk when you sit in front of people and you really don't know how to improve music. I open your projects in real time. If I don't improve your mix, you will instantly see it and you would leave this course. So you will see it really, really works. Saved me years. And this is what a lot of students believe. You will know in nine months that amount of information and you're gonna have those skills you usually get in 10 years. We went really deep into topics. My my mixes improved drastically. Okay, not only what to do, but also exactly how to do and why to do it. Uh, covers every important topic from phase alignment to song arrangement. Opportunity to practice these skills with direct feedback on your results from a highly skilled expert. Your honesty and love for the best sound possible is truly admirable. So Justin from Australia says, I studied during 18 months at SAE college. I haven't really been getting anywhere with my audio quality though. And now when he attends my course, uh, he beginning to hear the subtle nuances. Actually, I teach students to hear. And that's why you will never rely on some plugin. You always will be concentrating on real audio, not on somebody's opinion. But next student, I have previously studied audio engineering at worldwide school that cost over 14,000 and wished I had found Andrew before I spent so much money. Also, the price of the course is reasonable that I had nothing to lose. You know, I really hate all the situation when I need to promote my course, I will need to tell you this is the best course. Do you think I really like it? Of course not. So instead of like listening to me telling you, 
all the time like it's great course i just offer you free trial class just come to our course and see how we study i think your course is the best thing i've come across on the internet thanks awesome teaching by the way uh, teaching is also a really important part i've been doing it for six years you know it's not like another audio engineer which want to show some techniques uh, it's really crafted course. Uh, one thing, when you know how to do something, absolutely other thing, when you know how to teach people to do it, you know, so it's a bit different thing. So teaching, in this case, uh, is the same important like skills of a teacher. Okay, next student says, honestly, this course is just great. I don't think there is another like that anywhere else. And I really mean it. Thanks. The most professional course I ever found. It's another student, thanks. This incredibly prepared course saved me maybe another 10 years learning audio. Terence from the USA, after more than 30 years of home music production, finally I see myself soon having truly professional sound. How wonderful. And this guy is not bullshitting. Next student says, the best teacher one can get, thanks. Ram from India says, Andrew is the best teacher, passionate for teaching and honest with his students. And all the tools you would need to be an audio engineer. So we not just learn general things, we really learn every specific nuance, every specific technique with specific plugins to use. Reviewing both my own work and other students' work is really insightful and beneficial. Absolutely, in your group you have another, let's say, from five to, to seven students. Other examples, some mistakes of other students, some different genres. You actually can work on any song in any genre, hip-hop, metal pop music, whatever, you know. Pain Monthly is so good, unlike other courses out there. Check my website, there is more information on pricing, schedule. I have a couple of videos on website, how I check homeworks, but still better just to check some free trial class.